Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today it's part two of your website submissions. We're doing reviews of your guys' websites. So if you have a website that you want reviewed, we're doing one more video after this one. So go ahead and submit it down below in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. Guys, so today's uh, review we're doing of ronexpress.com. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and let's see. So first thing I see is here, this is cool. We got um, a little bit of social proof that people are buying. It's always good. That's actually a free plugin uh, for you guys that don't know or a free app on Shopify. Um, it's by Beekating. I think it's called Sales Pop. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to get that if you don't already. Um, but first thing looking at this, uh, this menu bar, I would definitely change the color of it. Um, I would make it probably white or black. Um, those are generally colors that um, I find work the best. Actually, probably white with maybe like a, a dark gray or black font would probably be your best bet. This is just, um, I don't know, this this color is just, uh, it's not really doing it for me. No offense on, on, on any of this stuff that I say. It's not meant to be offensive at all. It's just uh, meant to be constructive and just coming at it with a sort of an open mind. So I'd make this probably white. Uh, let's see, up to 75%. Uh, again, the sphere of view all products. So this is good. We can uh, view all products. Let's see what happens when we click on this. Uh, I'm going to open it up. Okay, so we got... Okay, so this looks like a general store. It looks like they have a bunch of different stuff here. Um, okay. All kinds of different stuff. So, guys, this is an example of what a general store would look like, um, which is fine. If, if you do that, that's cool. Um, I usually recommend doing more niche-based stores because, number one, it's easier to market, and number two, uh, when you're doing back-end Facebook marketing, because I've done general stores myself and I've found run into this issue, but um, when you do back-end Facebook marketing, your pixel is all convoluted because you have people buying leggings, but you also have people buying you know, shovels, so the buyer profiles that you have are much uh, are, are kind of convoluted and it's hard to be able to build a lookalike audience. So that's just some insight that I have on that. but. Uh, Nevertheless, we're going to jump into it. So it looks like you have a bunch of different things here. Okay, then we got free plus shipping. Let's see what that is. Okay, so your free plus shipping stuff, again, is sort of random. We got walking dead necklace, constellations bracelet, religious bracelet, cat stuff. So um, let, me, let me just check out your Instagram here. I'm going to open this up and see what we got. Okay. Um, so it looks like we have a bunch of different products here. Um, okay. So one thing uh, I would recommend, if you haven't already, go check out my uh, my video I did about setting up a good Instagram account um, in terms of something that people would, uh, you know, actually want to follow. So like here, you're not getting outstanding engagement, um, and that's just because you're not necessarily posting photos that people actually want to look at and want to engage with. Um, so that's just something that you want to to focus on. I'd recommend checking out that video if you haven't already. Um, but let's see, it looks like they're marketing this thing here, uh, this Walking Dead bracelet. So if we click on this, let's see where this brings us to. Okay, so this brings us to the actual Walking Dead uh, necklace here. So this is a little bit low quality photo. I'd see if you can get a, a little better quality photo if possible. Um, all these seem a bit on the low quality side. Um, you might just be able to do like a Google search and find some better photos. Okay, so you're, you're marking down from $16.99. Personally, if I were you, I mean, I could see this product going for, I could say you could even mark it down from like $24 um, and be able to get away with that. Because think about it, what we're trying to do is create a value gap here. So if, I mean, from $16 down to zero, like that's that's good, but if it's you're charging $10 shipping, then $16.99 down to like $10.99 or like $9.99. It's only a six dollar difference. It's not like a huge value gap. Where opposed to if um, you were to do like a twenty four ninety nine down to like ten ninety nine, then that's a huge like, like that's over fifty percent, right? So um, yeah, that's just something, and that's a real easy fix. Just change that to twenty four ninety nine. Like it's not a huge deal. Okay, so here we go. We got you actually have two um, two things here. What I might do is is send this. Oh, that's that's one photo. Okay. Maybe if you could split it up and actually put this top part down at the bottom of the page and then have this up by the add to cart, that might actually be a really good way to increase your conversions there. Let's see, okay, this stunning necklace is a must-have jewelry collection for all the die-hard Walking Dead fans. We're offering completely free of charges, pay shipping, 8 dollars 
Okay, so this is good. You're very transparent in how much shipping costs. You're transparent in how much, uh, or that they actually have to pay for it. So that's good. Let's see, brand new. I would get rid of that. I think most people assume it's brand new. Um, color. Uh, let's see, as shown by photos. Okay, I would maybe put just like silver or whatever, whatever color it is. Package list, one piece cell. Not sure what that means. I'd ditch that. Uh, ditch this. You you already set it up here. Plus, brand new is not. I mean, that's not really a selling point. Okay, uh, it's alloy. Okay, this stuff is is okay. But then again, you put the color as picture shown. So you put that twice. I would, you know, kind of ditch that. Let's see, limited supply order now. Hurry before it ends. Okay, do you have any sort of? Okay, what I would do is is put in some sort of urgency. So put in either a countdown clock or a um, stock countdown. Uh, and that's easy to do. There's an app called by Beaketing. It's uh, shoot, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, you can look it up. It's one of Beaketing's app, and it's actually free that you can do a countdown part. It might actually be called countdown part. Um, okay, so then you have shipping times nine to twenty. Okay, so this is all good that you have this. Okay, customer reviews, nice. Okay, so this is good that you have some customer re reviews. You got some. Uh, some social proof there, so that's always good to have. Okay, cool. So, um, let's see. Let's go back to the home page and just see what we got here. Um, okay, this this page or this is good. Um, not really sure what you're trying to sell here. What I would do is is maybe have something more clear on exactly what you're trying to sell because this isn't real clear. I don't know if it's the yoga pants, if it's like this jersey, if it's the hat, or you know what it is. Um, so just be a little more clear there. Okay, then you have all these collections. Okay. And then looks like this is Walking Dead stuff for the most part. Okay, so it looks like you're actually, you know, doing more Walking Dead stuff than anything. So it may only it may even be better just to turn this into more of a Walking Dead store and just split it up by, you know, Walking Dead t shirts, Walking Dead jewelry, Walking Dead uh, you know, whatever this is, game. Um you know, and split it up that way as opposed to um, having all this other random stuff. Because, um, like, for example, I don't know if you may be selling some of this stuff, but I don't know. Like I said, it kind of just, like, uh, kind of lose your pixel and it makes it tougher to, to make sales uh, in the back end with Facebook. So, um, yeah. But uh, overall, I would just, you know, change this, change up the product descriptions a little bit. Let's see down here. we got, okay, contact us. That's good. Got all these terms of uh, terms of use, all that. Okay, join the family. What I might do even is um, put in some sort of uh, pop up. Um, I said it in the last one, but uh, there's this app called Privy. It's free that you can do like an exit intent pop up and offer like uh, maybe twenty five percent off or twenty percent off, whatever, um, for somebody who who wants to subscribe. Um, and then you can email them later, you know, and whatever. Um, let's see about us. Oh, something you may want to put up here, you might want to put up a track package as well as a contact us page. So, um, you know, just so people, so you're very clear about how to contact you because you want to be clear about that as well as uh, how to track their package because, you know, uh, shipping times can take quite a while. So you're going to want to be able to actually track your package. Um, the other thing, I'm not a huge fan of this pinkish purple background. I just keep it white, keep it simple. Um... Okay, and it looks like you just have a, a good description here. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'd, I'd maybe make this maybe like a gray or a black or something. Make this white, make this white, and it should be good. So for the most part, uh, this is a, a real solid website. Um, you know, I work on the Instagram a little bit, I work on your product description a little bit, but once you do that, they're all simple fixes that you can actually go out. Uh, let me go back to, to here so you can actually see me. So, um, you know, other than those things, I would say that it's, it's real solid and you can probably, I don't know, maybe you're already marketing. It looks like you, you're making some sales, so you're probably marketing already. Um, but yeah, I would just change those things. That should probably increase your conversions just a little bit. Um, and yeah, so guys, hopefully this video was helpful for not only the person that, uh, you know, submitted it, but also to everybody watching it. Hopefully you got a little bit of uh, something out of it. Again, like I said, I'm doing one more review. So if you want to have your website review, Go ahead and throw it down in the uh, comments below, and uh, I'll pick I'll pick one of them just at random. So, also if you want a full out page review of your website, I'm actually doing 
um, you know, some actual full out, you know, PDF reviews of websites that you can get at the link in the description below if you're interested. Um, unfortunately, I can't do it for free, but um, they're pretty cheap and affordable. So you can go ahead and do that if you want. Again, link in the description below. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the like and uh, notification bell so you can be notified as soon as we drop the latest video. And I will see you guys tomorrow.